We're choosing Fox 47 tonight. There are 27 new COVID-19 cases in Minnesota today. The total number now stands at 262, with one person dying from the disease. Fox 47's Camaria Bray is tracking updates from the governor's office and joins us now with new information from a Mayo Clinic doctor on this issue. Cam. Maddie, like yesterday, today's afternoon briefing was conducted over the phone with Governor Walsh under self-quarantine due to a member of his security detail testing positive for COVID-19. Walls says he still feels healthy and has not experienced any symptoms. However, there are some fairly serious cases in Minnesota. Governor Walls says out of the 262 COVID-19 cases in Minnesota, seven patients are in an intensive care unit and that there are just 243 ICU beds statewide. The bending the curve, stretching out the infection rates over a period of time to not overwhelm them beds is, is really the story that's that's at the heart of this. Mayo Clinic Dr. Stacy Rizza says people can spread the virus before showing symptoms. People can be shedding the virus for many days before they become symptomatic. Um, on average, people become symptomatic about five days after they're infected but they certainly can be, that can be a little longer and a little shorter and people could be shedding the virus the whole time. On Monday, Wall said infection numbers will most likely keep rising. 40 to 80 percent of us will eventually get this. Dr. Rizza agrees. It is very feasible that that number of people will become infected, but I completely agree with the perspective that that is over a long period of time, months to years. The Minnesota Health Department has tested nearly 6,000 people who've experienced symptoms. Walls says testing makes a difference. Uh, testing still matters. It matters uh, when someone uh, really has symptoms, needs to be seen. It also matters for us to get a better picture on what's happening. And with hope that tests will be developed that can prove someone is infected before they show symptoms. I think the biggest challenge is having tests that is going to be well validated in the asymptomatic state. As the rates rise, Wall says he appreciates Minnesotans taking measures seriously. It appears that Minnesotans were social distancing better. There seems to be some cell phone data and other uh, quantifiable data to show that that is happening, that Minnesotans are taking this seriously. Now, the good news is there are 88 people who've tested positive in Minnesota that are now out of isolation. In the studio, I'm Kamaria Bray, Fox 47 News.